Hey guys, welcome to part 5C of the survival series that I'm doing and this is going to be the third part to the infantry system so today we're just going to look at finalising the actual infantry with a quick inf statement to make sure that we can't actually make our health or thirst or whatever go up when we've actually run out of items and that's going to be a quick line on each and then we're going to look into picking up items that you might see within the game world so I'm going to go on by when we cut down a tree we're going to be able to pick up the log and we're going to add that to our infantry so first of all what we want to do is like before we want to open our infantry script and I'm just putting this short bit in the beginning of this video because I forgot to put it in the last time I made a video so if you find your obviously your infantry script and you go all the way down to where you um talking about your GUIs and add it or taking away from your um, infantry and healing some damage or whatever we're doing. We want to look at the eat fish statement and where it says the cooked fish minus minus and then we call the eat function. What we want to do is put a little line break in below the curly brackets which we've got inside the if statement for the button. And we want to say that if cooked fish is greater than or equal to one then we'll add two uh, one bracket facing away and then one bracket facing forward at the bottom a curly bracket that is and then just tab these two across to keep it nice and indented so what this means is that it always show the button so we can eat the fish but only if cooked fish is greater than or equal to one can we actually eat the fish because of obviously if we've got zero we don't want to add anything to the health so we're going to do exactly the same thing to every different one so for the um, drink water section we're going to say that if bottled water is greater than or equal to one then we'll add the curly bracket and tab across and then we'll add the end curly bracket and again for the last section in its if statement we'll say that if bandage is greater than or equal to one we'll add the curly bracket tab across and add the curly bracket to end so now that will mean that we can't actually ever go below a certain amount we'll always have to have some items in our inventory so as you can see right I've got the the health of the food quite a ways down if I eat the fish, goes down to two, goes down to one, goes to zero. If I click it as many times as I want, we can never go back up. And likewise with the drinking the water, and obviously if the health had gone down with a bandage. So that's just that bit ironed out. So you make sure that you just got a quick if statement within the button to make sure that if it's above one, then we're obviously going to do something. So that's it for the main infantry section. Now we're going to move actually on to making the ray cast so we're going to be able to collect the pieces of wood that we've got in our scene so what we'll do is we'll create a new script and we'll create a javascript and we'll call this javascript um, ray cast collect doesn't really matter what you call it actually because we're only going to reference it in the script later so maybe just keep it the same with mine so obviously I've got the ray cast script open I'll zoom in a little bit I'm going to delete the two functions at the top and then we're going to start by as I've done in many tutorials writing the ray cast I'm going to say variable ray length let's type integer equal to 10 then I'm going to write a private variable called inventory as type capital inventory another private variable called GUI show Let's type boolean equal to false. Make sure that's got a semicolon. Then we're going to start by writing function start and then two curly brackets below. Then we're going to say inventory equals game object dot find open brackets first person controller close that up dot get component inventory with a capital so that's just so we can find the actual inventory script 
then we're going to start by writing our update function. So in the um, update function, we're going to write the raycast. So we'll say variable hit colon raycast hit with a semicolon. Then variable forward equals transform dot transform direction. Oops, spelt transform wrong there. Open brackets vector three dot forward. Close that up. Add a semicolon. Then we'll say that if physics dot raycast open brackets transform but we want to make sure that's lowercase dot position comma at forward comma hit comma ray length close that up with two brackets add two curly brackets below there and we'll say that if hit dot hit dot collider dot game object dot tag is equal to so for this instance it's going to be wood we'll close that up add two curly brackets below then we're going to say gui show is equal to true then within here we'll say that if input dot get key down open brackets e close the brackets and the quotes then two curly brackets below and we'll say that inventory dot wood plus plus with a semicolon that just means that we'll add one wood every time that we collect a piece then we'll say destroy hit dot collider dot game object close that up with a semicolon then we can also write that GUI show is then equal to false because we've picked up the item then what we want to be able to do is um, after these two curly brackets we want to say that else we'll put two curly brackets below the else statement and say that GUI show is also equal to false because what we want to do is if we're raycasting and we're not looking at the tag wood then we don't want to show the GUI anymore then what we're going to do is add a function GUI down here so we'll write function on GUI two curly brackets below and we'll say that if GUI show is equal to true then we'll add two curly brackets in and say GUI dot box open brackets rect open brackets again screen dot width divided by two minus 150 comma screen dot height divided by 2 minus 150 comma 100 comma 20 close that up add a comma and then in quotes write whatever you want so we can write pick up then close the quote and put a semicolon so I'll quickly run through this so all we're doing is a normal raycast at the beginning so we're just raycasting to find in a forward position and we're looking for the tag wood then obviously if we're looking at the tag we'll show the GUI then if we press E whilst looking at the tagged item we'll add something to our other infantry script destroy the item that we're looking at hit.collider.gameobject is whatever we're looking at and then we will make sure the GUI is false if we're not doing any of that GUI will be false because we're not obviously not looking at it and we're just going to create a GUI with on the screen um, width and height divided by 2 and then in the position, I mean a scaling of 100 wide and 20 high to show that text. So what we'll do within Unity, we'll go to the main camera where we've got our other Raycast script and we'll add Raycast Collect. And then what you want to do is obviously because our trees that we created before in here. Um, creates the logs that we're going to have so on your prefabs for your logs you want to make sure that it's got a tag of wood because if not obviously it won't work so I'll make sure that the tree has got a tree health of one so when we hit it once it's going to fall 
So if I go over to my tree and I hit it once, it's going to fall. And then what we're doing is see the logs. You can see that when we're looking at it in the center, obviously because this is only a small section, if we look away, we could do it. We'll pick up one pressing E, we'll pick up another and pick up the other. And then we'll look in our infantry and you'll notice that we've got three pieces of wood. Now my GUIs have gone down because I set them really far, really fast for debugging. But you can see that you can change any of this for any items that you've got. Whether it's so you can add, all you can do is if you want to then check for another object, what we can actually do is that if you just add another if statement, so if you copy the entirety of this section here you paste that in below I'll just give a quick quick example and we paste that in below here what you want to do is then if you've hit something else so if you've hit coconut as long as your coconut has got the same um, tag on it then you can say and add whatever you want to your infantry so you could add it to for instance cooked fish if you know you wanted to class that as food but obviously this is just an example of how you could do your own infantries and do your collecting so that's pretty much the entirety of showing you the basics of just raycasting to then collect items to then add to your infantry so you can take that you know however you wish so thanks very much for watching and as ever don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers